we've equipped our and we'll depart system. So we're now about to guide from the heart of Kronos to the frozen wastes of Ruripenthe. Klingons have built an empire that values strength, honor, and skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, live with honor, die with a blade in your hand. If you can do these things, you will live forever in the stories and songs of the Empire. Right, okay, so we're now in sector space space between stars if you like and here there can be no attacks in this game which is not particularly canon but hey it works so we need to get to this star system here which is where we are tracking the uh, uh, shuttle to so we're going away and at this level it takes quite a while to do any deep space travel ah, we have here we can go into what they call astrometics which puts this lovely grid underneath so you can see how far uh, how much you're moving across sectors and so on I'm going to turn that off and we'll just have to imagine and look at the gorgeous spacescape that they're putting us into which has got elements of the of, of s the s original Star Trek uh, planets seem to be slightly large for uh, uh, what uh, in comparison to their uh, their stars but hey that's not really much different from what happened in the TV except that as in most multiplayer games the chat is not particularly um, illuminating or uh, educating or uh, or even on subject so they are looking uh, the other mission that we picked up on the way out welcoming the federation intercept the federation fleet in the catalyst expanse where is the Catalath's expanse? So we're looking here. Catalath expanse here. On the front lines of the Klingon Federation War, brave captains from both sides battled to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning, every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. And yes, that was Leonard Lindemoy, the actor who played Spock. Deep space encounters, they could, they're useful. Abandoned ships can pick some stuff off. The deep space encounters is a um, short time window uh, PVE combat. Uh, but it will be scaled beyond where this sh character's ship is capable of handling at the moment. So we will keep out of that. The This particular what tutorial might be more scaled to us. So uh, yeah, uh, that's probably scaled at rank 30. Uh, 25, that's one scaled at. We're at five. Um, unlike some games, uh, where scale difference of one is a huge amount uh, here one is not a lot but 20 years at least when you're five and it wants 25 and again these pop-ups from the are basically trying to sell you stuff the game is actually free to play but um, there is a lot you can buy with real money 
but as in a lot of these multiplayer uh, or on online service games uh, you can play for free and you can r raise the stuff to on the whole to get the stuff that you can buy within game currency but it's an awful lot of grinding oh decided de uh, decidedly be uh, welcome to the uh, uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the f uh, the, the emotes that you've got as a follower. Same goes for everybody else. There are now new emotes that followers have uh, that I have uh, added, and you're welcome to use them. Please do. Um, we are slowly getting closer and closer to uh, uh, the uh, um, the target star system. Right, the Borath system. It continues space chase. Some systems there are, there are other instances and other parts of stories, and sometimes they will offer you multiple ones when you come here, and you have to make sure that you pick the right one. So we will continue space chase. <laughs> Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Scan every inch of the system until we find him. Captain, we've begun the scans. We'll start at a range of five kilocams and work our way out from there. Good. The sooner we find him, the better. Captain, I recommend modifying the navigational beacons in this system to amplify our efforts in locating the prisoner. Right, so that's our engineer coming up with that particular system. So we will go and we will do... We will modify... the navigation beacons. Which I'm sure everybody would love the fact that navigation beacons are being modified. Beacon modified. Nothing yet. We should modify another beacon. Modify beacon. We're gonna go pick up the crafting. Got system. it! Establishing a communication link now! You? I am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity of a rabid targ. Cut the flattery and cut your engines. You're going back to Kronos with me. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail cell and be interrogated to within an inch of my life on a daily basis, I have unfinished business. It's time I was going. I'll follow you to Earth itself if it, that's what it takes. I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape plan. I've planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If any vessel arrives in the Boreth system, their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet starships. In addition, when we started this conversation, I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. <laughs> ships are already responding. You've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already, so I'm sure you know that Kayla said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire, or a ship. I suggest you leave before Starfleet arrives. Captain, we're being hailed by one of the Starfleet vessels. This ought to be interesting. Put them on screen. Klingon, bird of prey, power down your weapons and shields, and prepare to be boarded. That day shall never come, Vulcan, not as long as I draw breath. Our sensors are detecting several Federation distress beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire. 
so much for your famous Vulcan intellect. Check your sensors again. The beacons are as plain as... Curious. They are no longer transmitting. Engineering. Run a level 3 diagnostic on the sensors. You have been deceived by one of your own Vulcan. I extend my apologies. We did not intend to violate Klingon space. We will be leaving now, if you will allow it. You wish to flee, as you Vulcans say. Fascinating. Rest assured that whomever tricked us here will be found and punished. On that, you have my word as a Starfleet officer. I think not, Vulcan. The time for talk has passed. Prepare to die well. Cloak there, we can we can cloak. Uncloak, power to weapons and fire. We wish to resolve the but we will defend ourselves with fire. There are shields and then there is a uh, hole and so on and we had to cut through the shields. We're ready to leave the system, are you? Uh, with our weapons before we started doing much damage to the shields. Some of it bleeds through the shields but on the whole it, the shields protect 90% at least. Um, and the torpedoes that we fired aren't particularly effective against shields, but they're very effective against um, uh, unshielded hulls. Now here we have a um, uh, the a mint that you saw there, a little mini game of uh, getting the crafting materials out of the gas cloud. So we've now harvested that uh, like most uh, multi uh, like most MMOs um, there's a lot of cra uh, a lot of gathering of resources and crafting and or you'd not depending on how much you want to uh, uh, to go into that sort of thing uh, but you will be using crafted objects even if you're not crafting them yourselves. Right, okay, so let's depart system. We're ready and to leave the system. Follow the new warp trail. I suspect there's a new warp trail for us to follow. Right, need it. It is unfortunate. That the prisoner has eluded your search. That said, you did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked to be reassigned to your crew. 
you would be wise to accept it. So, a Gorn science officer candidate. And some additional hardware and some uh, uh, currencies and experience and so on. I love how there are so many different currencies in this, but that's not so different from any other MMO. Right. 